Hey everyone, this is David Baxter from Webos Roundup again. We are continuing our uh, Vera Palooza here and uh, we are going to answer a couple more questions, one of which was particularly fun, so I thought I would go ahead and make a video. Uh, the first one is about build quality again. Everybody is very curious about how sturdy this little device is. This uh, question would be about um, the glass and how the the glass and if it is Gorilla Glass, it is Gorilla Glass um, and it's very smooth. I mean, it's hard to say that. If you've ever used a Gorilla Glass phone, um, they're a little smoother. I don't know how this works exactly than a normal glass phone. Um, so it has that same kind of feel. Uh, you can see that the glass is completely uh, flush, just like it was with the uh, Pre Two. So I mean, this really is just a smaller Pre Two. Everything else looks about the same except for the buttons, of course. So. That should answer that. Um, it feels really good with the hands. Um, I would not, any Gorilla Glass phone, I typically do not get a cover for it. I just don't see the need and I like the uh, glassy feel. So that's for me. Now the other question is, is how to break it. People want to see how bad I can beat up this phone and make it so it can no longer load apps. So what I did was I downloaded a bajillion apps and now they have PDK apps so that's pretty fun. So I've got a lot of those too. They just turned those on today I think. So you can see Angry Birds there and um, a few others. I, I downloaded, well you can see them all. Uh, I got a dozen or so apps and we're just going to keep loading this thing until it dies. Until I get the two more, uh, too many cards. I have not done this so I'm not sure what to expect. Thought it'd be fun just to do it here for the first time. So let's start up with um, Angry Birds here. And we are not on a fresh boot or anything like that. Um, so we're just going with the flow here. This is a pretty normal normal usage here. So here comes Angry Birds. And we're going to put him in the card there. He's Yelp. And we're just going to march through the list. I haven't used these apps before on this phone. Um, so they're gonna, you're going to see a lot of intro screens and stuff. I just downloaded these for this video. Let's see, there's Newsroom, of course, and then the best app on the planet. Let's just keep rocking here. Fandango, I'm not sure if I already pulled him up, but who cares, let's keep him up twice. And uh, no, we did those two. Here's Lopan, that's a little shout out to Roy. Uh, got to another PDK game, so it's going to load up here. Uh, give it a second, there it goes. Okay, welcome to Lopan. Uh, the River Test, I don't even know what this is. It was a free, in the top free apps, so we'll keep him up there. And Zumo Drive. I'm just going to keep on rocking here until we kill it. And now, of course, I'm not using these apps to their full potential, so they're not using probably as much memory as, um, as they might otherwise. Okay, so we got uh, there goes Ted. Here comes Comics. Great app if you haven't used that one. If you like daily comics, I'll let them load up here. Okay, we're upside down somehow, so we're going to flip her over. There we go. 102 comics are available now. And Giant Bomb, good gaming website, in case you guys are wondering. Um, and here we go, that's loading. Here's low battery. These apps were, uh, apparently I'm almost dead here, so that's not good. Okay. That's not really true, but that's okay. Um, <laughs> that's interesting. Oh, okay, he's really angry at me. I don't know how to get rid of him. We have to kill him the hard way. All right. Sorry about low battery. Okay. Here's Weibo. Uh, not sure again what these apps are. That's not my language. There we go. Moon Info. It's a pretty charged phone. I'm not sure what happened there. And let's see what else we got here. Super Jump. I know we have some fans of that. Uh, I think we might be starting to bog down just a bit here after all of these apps. Let's see. Oh, there we go. Super Jump. And that's another PDK game. And zip code tools, uh, James Harris. Basically, I walk down the top apps of various categories, so um, these are more of the more common apps, I guess. Photo Funya. I don't know what that one is. Looks cool though. We should review this one. Probably have, and I just don't remember it. Critical Mass. We've done so many at this point. Okay, here we go. AP Mobile. In are you guys impressed yet? Still rocking. So, uh, here we go, AP Mobile there, and Expensify, now we're into the financial apps that I downloaded. I'm just going to try to keep on rocking here, let them load on the side, that's what this is all for. STC, I think that's a fancy tip calculator if I remember correctly. Currencies, there we go, cool, oh no, here's the cool tip calculator, excuse me. And we got Forbes. Anybody keeping count? We'll count at the end once we kill this thing. 
All right. If we run out of apps before we kill it, then we'll start loading up other web pages and whatnot. Maybe we'll load up a couple more at the same time. Here's ground effect. I know this is a 3D uh, 3D game here. A beast of a, a processor hog, I'm guessing. Okay, there he is. He's gonna load up. Oh, we're getting a little is that sound or my stomach? Stomach, I'm not sure. Oh, sound. Okay, good. I didn't think I was that hungry. And let's see here. Helicopter game. I believe this one is uh, one of the most popular apps here. We're running out here. Air traffic light. Okay. And we got Folly. That was the last one I did. I thought that would be enough. Apparently, I misjudged. So we're going to keep on going. Let's see here. Um, YouTube. And let's see what else is. Let's get a movie going too while we're at it. We're trying to kill this thing, right? I don't know who this is. But this person's speaking. We'll let that play here. You. I'm guessing this is probably not in English. I don't know. I, I don't surf YouTube much. So. We're on. We're not on Wi-Fi, by the way. We are on the uh, AT&T um, network. In case you're wondering. Um, here we go. Uh, Quick Office sounds good. I'm not sure which app is still playing the groovy music. Um, now you can see we are slowing down here. We're getting a little chunky. Now this is an absolutely ridiculous test, but I think it serves the purpose. Let's see here. Um, uh, no, do, 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 do. Here we go. How about some Google Maps? We're gonna put up some Google Maps, and let's see what else. Um, go over to the top here. Let's put up the phone. Sure, why not? Oh, web. You guys impressed yet? All right, here we go. This is gonna be a much longer video than I expected. I'm gonna pull up my favorite site. And do do do, and why don't we just pull up the app catalog and some email while we're at it? We are slowing down. Boom. We killed it, folks. All right. So let's count them up. Let's go all the way. Well, let's start this in so we don't do this twice. Here we go. I'm not sure what that was, but one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine. 30, 31, 32, 33, 34. 34 apps, including probably nine or so PDK games. And so, let's see how Angry Birds plays when we have it completely maxed out. As you see, I just downloaded it. Oh, oh, email just came up. Okay, that's great. Here we go. Let's see how she does. Okay, we, we've all seen the intro. We know what we're doing here. I don't think it's going to let me. I might as well turn up the volume and enjoy it, right? Angry Birds. Oh, what a cute game. I wonder if anybody ever plays this. Oh, no, the pigs stole the eggs. Oh, what a surprise. Okay, now I know, I know how to play this. Okay, so look at this. Uh, you know, it's still not... Um, it's still not uh, dying, so... There you go. Well, I'm getting a phone call, so I guess that means it's about time to go. Hope this shows you how well this phone hangs up. Thanks a lot, guys. Bye-bye. Okay, so we have another question here. Let me clear off some of these apps here before we go all go crazy here. The question is, how sturdy is the adapter for uh, when you put a headphone, your, your headphone jack adapter, when you actually put some headphones in it? So after I clear off about some of these bajillion apps we had rocking here, I wish there was a kind of a close all, but of course I guess the average person doesn't do all this. Okay, so. Here is the adapter. We're going to put him down here in the bottom. Boom. And I have my cheap, like $5 Sony headset. And we got the, we got the, uh, 
adapter there, boom. Okay, so that's what it looks like when it's all hooked up. So now, let's see, here's me hanging it. Here's me swinging it. Oh, there it came off. So, you know, when you have the leverage, uh, it's it doesn't seem, oops, let me turn that the right way here. It's um, not quite as sturdy as, um, say, the um, other adapter for the USB. It, it doesn't seem quite as stable as that. And if I'm pulling it like that, you see it comes off relatively easy. Here's me pulling it. Uh, and I think it's because of the leverage. When you had the um, other adapter, it was right here. So you were pulling straight at it, which is still it's a pretty strong little magnet. But when you're here, you're pulling at an angle, so it doesn't have quite the same uh, strength. So something to keep in mind there. Um, as I mentioned in my review, this is the one thing, taking it off. Now, a lot of people have said, um, I'm going off on a tangent here, but a lot of people say, why don't you just leave uh, this on and you never have to, you know, this is how you attach your headphones from that on. This guy is what your headphones is. Want to listen to it, you stick it right here. That would work fine. Um, I would just be afraid at some point that this would come out of here, that these guys would come apart, um, and I'd lose this guy. Um, but, I mean, this is a pretty snug fit, so that will probably depend on your, your headphones, of course. But this this doesn't come apart very easily. I'm having to pull pretty good there, so you can see that. So that, that might be a solution. What I would really say the solution is is a Bluetooth headset. If you are concerned, if you're going to go work out, I do not think this is probably an adequate solution. This is probably going to come right off in your pocket. Um, so the, the solution is a Bluetooth headset. It, I mean, it's a simple solution. They're not that expensive, and they're, they're good enough quality for just about anything you're going to need while you're working out. So if you're really concerned about this and this fr uh, frightens you, I wouldn't say, you know, this should be a deal breaker. Um, it, would, uh, it would just make me go buy a Bluetooth headset. Someone has suggested HP throwing in a Bluetooth headset would be a really uh, cool value add. I can't disagree. That would be awesome. Um, I don't know if HP is up for that, but... Uh, that would be a really cool add-on. So there we go. This has been uh, WebOS Roundup. And we've. Uh, if you have any more questions, please please feel free to tweet them to us at, at WebOS Roundup. Or you can um, put, a comments, put them in the comments. And we'll talk to you guys later. Thanks. Bye.